Welcome to the latest Z Code System video, where we will be talking about the latest games in the English Premier League coming up this weekend. Now, as you can see here with the Z Code System website, we've got the latest blog posted. So if you are an NHL better, then you can go over there and you can find out the picks coming up on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Some big games coming up there, and the Montreal Canadiens and the Pittsburgh Penguins will be headlining all of the action. But as I said, we are here to talk about the latest picks for the English Premier League coming up this weekend. And if you go over to the zcodesystem.com backslash blog, you can scroll down and you will be able to find these picks there for February 14th and 15th. Now, I'm going to tell you about two of the games coming up uh, that we profiled in the blog. And you can go over and check out the third game that I wrote about, which is the Wolverhampton Wanderers Leicester City game which will be taking place on Friday night. And there won't be a lot of love coming at it, coming out of that one on Valentine's Day. So let's take a look at the two games that, uh, the other two games that I've written about in the blog. Before I do that, I want to talk to you about the all new Sports Trader. Now, the all new Sports Trader is the perfect tool for you to use for your betting when you are betting on various sports from the NBA, NFL, NHL, and Major League Baseball. Now, what's new with the Sports Trader? This is Sports Trader 2.0, by the way. We have advanced selection mode, so faster, convenient, and added the ability to batch selected trends. So you can batch together things such as select all with a profit of more than 200. So a lot of great new aspects have been added to this Sports Trader. And as you can see here, you can go to the website and you can check this out even in more detail. Now, this also has a new trends filter and uh, a portfolio advisor has been added to the sports trader. And this is based on live signals and on back test results. Also, the profit time was added to the trend filters and expert portfolios were added when possible. So guys, don't miss out on getting this updated 2.0 version of the sports trader. Again, you can go to the website zcodesystem.com backslash sports underscore trader underscore zcoders and you can get this new system or this new tool to help you with your sports betting. Now, let's get on to those two English Premier League games that I told you about coming up this weekend. And the first one we're going to talk about is Liverpool and Norwich City. This game will be taking place on Saturday at Carrow Road, and it will be the late game in the English Premier League. Now, if you are following the action going on in the league, you will know that there has been a winter break. Some games were played last weekend while they were staggered with the others that are going to be played this weekend. So a few teams will have the weekend off while uh, a few other teams will be playing. So there's going to be... Uh, less games than we're used to having each weekend. Now, also, just so you know, a big winter storm has hit the UK over the last week, week and a half. And one game last weekend was called off, and that was the Manchester City West Ham game. There could possibly be some games called off this weekend, although the weather has improved, um, even though it is still a bit wintry in parts of England, mostly in the north. Now, Liverpool go into this game burning red hot. As we all know, they have not lost a game this season in the Premier League. They go into round 26 having their only blemish on the record, one draw. This is a team on the way to the Premier League title as long as something, uh, something disastrous does not happen. And they are 22 points above second place in Manchester City right now. That can go to 25 points with a win at Norwich City. Norwich City our average, uh, according to Z Code system, but this is the team that is the bottom of the Premier League. They are in desperate need of wins to have any hope of surviving relegation. Uh, things are getting, the season is getting down to the business end, so time is running out on Norwich City. Now, Liverpool played Norwich City on opening day uh, at Anfield, coming away with a 4-1 victory. 
they cruised through this game. They were 4-0 up at halftime. The only problem that Liverpool had in this game was losing goalkeeper Alison Becker to an injury that kept him out for the first uh, around six weeks of the season. Obviously, he's returned, and his return has also led to an incredible form that the Liverpool defense is in. Now, I disagree with this scoreline prediction because Liverpool's defense is playing so, so well right now. They're going to keep a clean sheet in this game. Don't expect Norwich City to get a goal. Norwich City have scored the fewest goals in the Premier League this season. And if striker Timu Puki is not on the score sheet, this team rarely scores. So Liverpool are going to win this game. I don't think they're going to score uh, too many goals. I don't think it's going to be like in that first game. But they're going to hold Norwich City to a clean sheet. So I am behind that to happen. And that is my pick. And as you can see right here, you can see that Liverpool have kept clean sheets in recent games. Uh, 1-0 against Shrewsbury in the FA Cup. Liverpool beating South, uh, Southampton 4-0, 2-0 over West Ham. Ignore that uh, these two games right there because those were anomalies in their recent form. So Liverpool to win to nil and to go 25 points ahead of Manchester City in the race for the Premier League title. Now, let's look at one more game this weekend, and this is also a game taking place on Saturday, and we're just going to check out or uh, get the drop-down box to show up here, and we're going to scroll down until we find right there Burnley taking on Southampton. So this game is going to be taking place at St. Mary's uh, on the south coast where Southampton will host Burnley. As you can see, average down right now, Southampton, losers of their last two games. They lost to Liverpool 4-0, and they lost to Tottenham Hotspur 3-2 in the FA Cup. Um, unbeat, uh, sorry, winless in their last three games, and as you can see, winless in four of their last five games. But this is a good Southampton team. Problem is, they do not play very well at home, and I think that is going to hurt them on Saturday. Now, we've got Burnley, who are uh, hot and cold. They blow hot and cold, they do. Uh, and you can see there, they are uh, unbeaten in five of their last six games. And I think Burnley will give them a strong game on the South Coast at St. Mary's Stadium. And as we just look at the head-to-head -head very quickly, we can see that earlier this season on opening day, Burnley did escape, or not escape, and they routed Southampton with a 3-0 win, and that came at Turf Moor, uh, the home of Burnley. But we can scroll down here and just take a look. Burnley uh, earning draws there. They have, um, what is that, the last six games, they have taken points off of Southampton. You have to go back to October 2016 to see Southampton taking uh, a win, getting a win against Burnley. And I think th this trend is going to continue. I think Burnley are going to continue to take points off off of Southampton. And I think this is going to be a score draw on the South Coast. I'm going to go against this scoreline, even though I like Southampton. And I think, you know, they could pull out a win. My gut is going with a draw, a score draw between Burnley and Southampton at St. Mary's. And this is going to be a game in which both teams, they're not the best of teams in the Premier League, uh, but they're not strugglers either. And they're just going to pick up a draw and uh, help inch away from that bottom group, that relegation group. So I'm going with a score draw here between Burnley and Southampton. Now, you can go over to the Z Code System blog and you can see our prediction for the Leicester City Wolverhampton game, which is going to be coming up on Friday night at Molyneux. So it's going to be a big game there, a lot riding on that for both teams as they chase Champions League qualification this season in the Premier League. So, guys, those are our picks. Let us know what you think. Comment here on the YouTube page if that's where you're watching it and give us a like and a follow and uh, subscribe to the Z Code System uh, channel and get all of the updates when we post our videos there. And if you're on the blog, head over to YouTube and do that for us if you can. And uh, we hope you guys have a great weekend of Premier League football betting. And we will see you next week here on Z Code System with more great picks. We'll see you later, guys. Good luck this weekend.